Hi Pisces! Welcome to your reading Pisces. In this reading we'll be focusing on your person. We will take a look at your person's feelings, their intentions, their actions towards you. We will take a look at your connection with your person and we will pull some messages of love for your connection and for you and some oracle cards for your person and for you as well. Okay Pisces, let's take a look with whom we are connecting today for Pisces. Could you please show Pisces person on their mind? Pisces person, could you please show me Pisces person? We have a King of Pentacles, okay? We have the Death card. Could you please show me Pisces person, please? Pisces person. We have a Ten of Pentacles. Could you please show me Pisces person, please? We have a page of pentacles. Okay, could you please show me Pisces person? Could you please show me Pisces person? Page of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, Pisces, we have Knight of Cups. Okay, so you might be dealing with Scorpio or a sign. It's coming forward quite, quite strongly. So we have Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Hmm. Pisces, what I'm seeing here is someone who might have children, okay, and who is after some sort of ending with the death card. I feel that it is someone who is who ended a quite a long term relationship with someone else. This is someone who've been who've been in relationship but this relationship ended i very strongly feel this king of pentacles it seems that they have a lot to offer because they are opening this mini reading for, you know energetically for your person it it shows someone who who um might be quite well off when it comes to their finances or work related situation whatever the case might be but this is someone who is quite stable who is bringing a lot to the table but i don't feel that they were particularly or they are particularly um happy at the moment or even they might think that they are quite unlucky when it comes to love okay something ended here in this person's life this person is is is, is going for a major transformation and i feel that overall uh this individual wants to have a long-term stable commitment but 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 like a stable without any any mind games or things of this kind we have a page of pentacles and page of cups at the bottom of the deck we have a knight of cups this individual Pis pisces is very interested in you i feel they want to communicate they want to be in touch with you they want to ask you out they want to express some sort of emotion okay this is someone who've been through a lot, who has um, some sort of experience and they might be very lucky, for instance, when it comes to 3D world. But when we're talking about relationships, love related matters, I feel this person is somehow um, experienced meeting a certain people, certain type, and they've always somehow disappointed them. And at the end, it didn't work out okay so let's take a look what do we have for your connection with this person could you please show me Pisces connection with this person please Pisces connection with this person please we have the star this is Aquarius energy Pisces we have a three of Pentacles okay And for Pisces person, could you please show me Pisces 
connection with this person. We have a three of swords. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the deck, we have an eight of pentacles. So Pisces, th this person might be someone from, um, from your close related environment, meaning workplace, okay? With the eight of pentacles, a three of pentacles. This is mutual energy. This is overall energy for this mini spread. So you might know them. It can be someone who you see on a regular basis and someone who might work. For instance, if you had some sort of pro project together with represented by the three of pentacles, this person might be uh, one of your colleagues that it is around you, that it's close to you. You might be talking with them or, you know, um, communicating with them on a regular basis here. With the star, this is a card of hope, faith, sense of, gui sense of direction and healing. What I'm getting here, Pisces, is that you might be aware of this individual. For instance, maybe you know what they've been through because uh, it seems that you're providing a very healing energy to this person's, uh, in this, to this person's life. The star is a beautiful card because it shows this sense that this belief that things can be better. And I feel that when I see those cards in this particular story, please, Pisces, um, take it as it resonates because we are connecting with collective energy. So the stories, there will be many stories. Okay. And, and also, uh, cross watches for Pisces, you are very much welcome, but please also take a note that it might play from your perspective. So the roles can be switched. It might be something that, for instance, Pisces did to you, okay? But please take it as it resonates. The star shows that you are bringing to this connection healing energy. Because what I'm seeing here is the three of swords, and this is for your persons, for this person's energy. This person has been has been hurt very, very badly. I strongly feel that they are after um, some sort of heartbreak, breakup, and they are just incredibly hurt. At the moment, I feel that in, when it comes to their inner feelings or just emotions, this person is trying to find some sort of um, quiet space or some sort of... Um, peaceful some sort of peace however it's very difficult because when we're looking at the three of swords we're seeing that this person is going f you know inside it's this person is a mess emotionally i feel that it was a, something very very challenging in this person's life and and they really felt it it is this energy of chaos, but chaos brought by uh, heartbreak, sadness and pain. For some of you, this person might be divorced, they might have children, but I feel that they see you, Pisces, as someone who is very gentle, very loving, very caring, um, someone who is very understanding, someone who just gets them. And with the three of swords, they see with the three of swords what they going, you know, undergoing at the moment, which is incredibly difficult. They see you as a star, this healing energy, which is very, very beautiful. Three of pentacles as a mutual energy. Again, it can speak of, you know, work related environment or someone who might be close to you. Maybe it's a friend. Please take it as it resonates. But this is someone who, you know, and I feel this person is after some sort of uh, disappointment in love. If it's not a friend or not a work, work colleague, it might be someone with whom uh, you are communicating on a regular basis or who you met maybe through the internet or you just know. However, there is this main theme which is coming forward that this person is after um, some sort of very painful ending. Okay, with the Three of Pentacles, this is a sense of um, collaboration being, you know, team player, 
I feel that you are very supportive. They see you as someone with whom they can work very well and who is very adaptable. And with the Eight of Pentacles, they see you someone who is not dismissive, but who makes a lot of effort when they care about something. And I feel that's how they see you as a person and also as someone who would act if they had a relationship with okay so let's take a look let's let's pull some messages uh, some oracle cards for your person Pisces let's see we have mask mm -hmm. show me Pisces persons Cupid arrow, mm -hmm. and we have the ending here. Let's take a look at your energy, please. Uh, could you please show me Pisces energy? We have a cassette, and we have sword and rose, and at the bottom of the deck we have love. Okay, okay. Let's put it that way, Pisces over here and let's take a look let's talk about this person mask I feel Pisces that as much as you know um, you might be aware what this person is going through and maybe even they communicated this there is something about this person that they are not willing to show this um, that they they don't want to appear too vulnerable okay this is someone who i feel has a big sense of of pride and they it's not they they don't want to be an open book but i feel someone look we have a book here which is completely open i feel that they are afraid of being hurt and because this person i feel many times or, or once opened themselves completely to another individual now they are afraid to do that and they are very cautious this is someone i feel pisces with the mask card this is someone who is very interested in you but um they are trying to uh, they are maybe masking this or they are it is some sort of a secret Okay, because I don't feel that this person is very much um, expressive with this King of Pentacles. They do want to, they have, I feel that you are in a communication with this person and this is someone who wants to be in touch with you. They want to ask you out, they want to express some sort of form of emotion. But I feel that at the moment this person just been very hurt and they are hiding certain emotions with the mask cut. Therefore, you might maybe momentarily feel that, you know, they are not real, that this is something not quite right with them, or maybe sometimes their behavior is quite odd. But I feel it is purely um, provoked by this energy of ending that they went through. And we have here that, again, confirmation. The relationship is over, no second chances growth and transformation and this is exactly what the death card at the very heart of your person's energy is showing this person been through a lot and i feel that they ended or they experience an ending when it comes to their relationship with the ten of pentacles this person might be divorced or they uh they were in a long-term commitment with the Cupid's arrow, it's uh, <laughs> this person uh, falls in love with you, Pisces. Okay, this is essentially Cupid's arrow. The arrow reached their heart. It's falling in love. I, I feel also with this card, Pisces, that this person will ask you out at some point. That's why when we have a mask and Cupid's arrow, this person is masking, I feel, you know, this this feelings that they have for you maybe they are i i i feel with this cars that they are just scared to, to to say how it is 
but um, you can be reassured that this person is falling for you they are falling for you they are falling in love with you on your side we have cassette and we have sword in a rose so clarity is coming if there is something Pisces that you might be wondering about this individual uh, I feel that soon you will gain some sort of clarity there is something I feel with cassette that maybe this person said and you might be thinking about it about this particular conversation or about this particular message message that you've received from this person and you might be wondering about what this person really meant what does it mean and the sword and the rose card shows that you will gain clarity and um, and truth of the, about this matter okay it is also a sign that you are protected so you have nothing to worry about at the bottom of the deck we have love I feel that this attraction is mutual okay they are falling in love you have love card here it is also um, a card of self-love love represents self-love as well you see how she's holding the heart and she's very very happy and joyful about it oh bless but um <laughs> but it also shows that um you have you feel quite passionate about this person you feel attraction towards them and i feel that you are you have this beautiful again this beautiful energy of star which represents you in this reading which shows that you um you there is a big amount of affection that you might like to share with this person you feel very very nice about them there is something that you like and um, and I can tell you that you know they are also I feel that feeling is mutual here so it is quite quite sweet and nice energy I must admit for some of you you might also fell in love with this person Oh spirit okay I need to pick up this I'm sorry Pisces please stay with me because this card just just uh, fall down we have go slow okay let me just I need to move the chair <laughs> sorry I'm sorry so I'm back so we have go slow so spirit it's saying takes things easy you know slowly take time to get to know each other could you please show me uh, one more card for Pisces for their connection with their person past life love your soul remembers this intense connection okay hmm. at the bottom of the deck we have integrity well that's interesting let's take a look so we have go slow for your connection like an, i feel it's an advice from spirit to just you know take time to get to know this person past life love i feel that you know we have those cupid arrows and love this is th this is a connection that it feels maybe very natural for for both of you and spirit it's it's here kind of you know emphasizing that it might be your past life love so you might have met with this person uh, in in your previous life lifetime so this is a strong soul connection at the bottom of the deck we have integrity card integrity card in this actually when i see this this reading integrity card most of the time it's it's kind of it's leaving this question mark it's saying is that really you want to agree with is it is that really the thing that it's okay or maybe you know someone is lacking integrity and things of this kind represented by the card by this card but when i see this reading i feel that you might still have some sort of reservation when it comes to this person again maybe because what they've been through and this person might be momentarily be withdraw they might be acting and that's why the integrity card it's showing here is because you might you know as much as you might 
have those feelings for this person you also you would like to know where you stand if this person is really interested in you or because I feel that there is something that you are not quite sure about when it comes to this connection because we have the cassette and we have the, the sword and the rose so it, it's showing that something needs clarity and I think with the integrity for some of you Pisces I feel that you might be asking yourself you know is it is it is it is, is this person really you know okay are they are not trying to charm me is this person 100% uh, real and I feel that's very much what with regards to this so far this 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 reading integrity is 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 showing you might be essentially asking if if this person uh, possess integrity uh, I don't know how to explain it in a because they've been hurt so badly okay this is what I would like okay this is because they've been hurt so badly and they are after this 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 painful ending you might feel that maybe this person it's it's here just to have a good time okay maybe you got an impression that this person because they've been through a lot they are not really they might not be interested in a long-term commitment and that's why you're asking yourself well if that's the case is that really the thing that i want because you might have a completely different expectations the thing is that this king of pentacles represented here in this reading um i don't see here the energy of just having fun this is someone who've been through a lot and who wants to have a long and stable commitment with with another person however i feel that you might not be sure and integrity card it's 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 essentially here that you might be asking some of you of course it won't resonate with all of you might be asking if that's really uh, if this person really is taking me seriously because you might have your reservations as well you might feel well maybe they are so hard that they just want to you know they want to take it on on you know on another relation something of this kind you know what I mean when people are sometimes when they are hurt they are acting in in a certain way we have the Sun you might be dealing with Leo I feel that something needs clarity okay so overall just what I wanted to say is that on your side I feel that there was a particular conversation and it might kind of raise this question mark and you might be thinking, well, why this person said that? Or why they communicated that way? That's why you might be kind of deeply inside asking yourself about this pe person's integrity, meaning what they really want, what they are about. Because we established here with the mascot, this, this person is masking their feelings. But it doesn't have to be in a wrong way because we don't have really a bad card surrounding this. Three of Swords and those challenging other cards, it just shows that this person been through a lot. And that's why I feel they are quite scared. And maybe for some of you, this person can be uh, just shy. But the truth is that they are falling in love. They are falling for you. However, there is something here that you might be, you know, questioning. And that's why Integrity card is showing up in your energy because you might be simply asking if this person um, what this person really wants let's take a look let's take a look Pisces at your person's feelings for you could you please show me Pisces person or this person's feelings for Pisces please We have chariot, we have nine of cups, and we have two of pentacles. Pisces, this person sees you as a wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. The chariot, 
it's a very action oriented card so they feel I feel they feel very passionate about you they feel very drawn to you and they I feel deeply inside they want to take initiative to, to, to kind of do something um, more significant when it comes to your uh, connection I feel this person wants to um, show you emotions or they want to tell you how they feel nine of cups this is an energy of, of wish fulfillment of being very happy but um, with the two of pentacles this person is in the middle of deciding what to do you know they're trying to be balanced they're trying to be uh, rational I feel they want to appear stable but, but with emotions and two of pentacles it shows that there is a choice how to or what to do in order to express emotion so i feel this person really is thinking how to what to do what to do they see you as they wish fulfillment and they do want to take initiative to express their feelings if you're asking me if this person has feelings for you i would say absolutely they do have feelings for you they see you i feel as someone very very healing loving caring you might be dealing with cancer I have a Cancerian energy, Pisces. Let's take a look at your person's intentions. Could you please show me Pisces person intentions? This person's intentions towards Pisces. I was thinking if that card will show up. The devil. Gosh. Okay, what do we have? Nine of Swords. Pisces person's intentions. This person's intentions towards way too many Pisces ten of wands oh my gosh this person is stressing out Pisces at the bottom of the deck we have a queen of cups um, I tell you one thing this person is fixated on you Pisces they are they are thinking about you non-stop you might be dealing with Capricorn I have also Scorpio another Pisces and a uh, cancerian energy is coming forward as well for you pisces this person is obsessing i feel you know i feel that what they've been through and that chaos and you know mess that this this person that's that someone cost to this per in this person's life it's just for some reason this person is changing they, they there is a significant change go, going on within them and in their life on the outside and they met you I feel Pisces they saw you as this loving beautiful energy who is just like a star essentially for them and I feel that this person just doesn't want to let you go I feel they sees you as, as a potential along you know someone who is perfect for them and who they can have a long-term commitment because I feel with this person Pisces they um, they are after a, a long-term commitment or relationship but I feel that this person wants to have another one I mean and they, they want to have a long-term commitment with you and what I'm seeing here this is the thing spirit it's saying to go slow get to know each other you know take your time I feel that this person wants to uh, they are just want you and as much as they are masking their emotions I feel this person um, in their intentions they just want to do it now they want to be with you now they want to uh, they want to uh, just just have a relationship with you however and here is the thing with the devil card the nine of swords and the ten of wands you have to take a note Pisces that this person can be very possessive okay I have to say it because that's what the cards are showing me here this is someone who um, who might be quite jealous okay someone who is who might be obsessing someone who wants to have okay because they've been hurt they don't want to they desperately don't want to 
um, put themselves in, in the same situation once again. They don't want to, or they don't want to make some sort of mistakes that they made in, in during their connection. And with the Devil card, the Nine of Swords, and Ten of Wands, this person might be coming from the place of lack, of feeling not being good enough because the other person from the previous relationship, they pu they put them in that sort of kind of energy. Therefore, this person might be Pisces, very, again, very possessive, quite jealous, and they might want to have you for, th for themselves, meaning um, they might want only your attention. Um, and I feel they're coming from the place of attachment, being very needy, okay? And when times go by, they can become quite hard work and they become quite burdening, they, they behavior. And that's what it shows here. I have to say it because they do appear for someone who's been through a lot, who is very interested in you, who's falling in love for you. And I feel also, you know, that, me, that this feeling, it's mutual in a sense that you are interested in this person. But I feel, Pisces, that there was again a conversation that kind of raised this, this, this question of integrity. Is, is this person real or this something here I feel you feel just unsure about? And maybe your gut feeling, your intuition is, is, is telling you, listen, you need to go slow, get to know this person. Because in their intentions, Pisces, and this is quite challenging energy. I mean, I have to be honest. This person wants you. They are fixated on you. They want you. That's it. I feel this person is losing sleep over you. And they are just... They are thinking about you 24-7. The thing is that they are coming from the place of attachment. And I feel that because of this insecurities or maybe because of what they've been through and they've been hurt so badly this person might have momentarily show some sort of toxic ways okay but i feel it's 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 hugely connected to the to this and to this to this um energy of jealousy being you know very possessive this is someone who doesn't want to be hurt again and who would want it to prevent being hurt by, by all costs. Therefore, I feel that this is someone who, who would want your attention and who can be quite jealous. And sometimes because of that, they might display some sort of um, toxic ways, okay? They are falling for you. They see you as someone who can take care of them, who is very nurturing, who is very loving, who is very caring, who is very healing. But I feel there was a conversation and you might got an impression that mm, I feel that there was something that raised your eyebrow. You know what I mean? Something, hmm, I don't know if, if, if oh, you know, kind of, you are unsure here about something. And I feel that you might even f think that this person might be quite possessive and jealous in, 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 a, in a relationship. In their intentions, Pisces, they want you. And that's it. They want you. They are, they are stressing out that you might find someone else or you might be talking with someone else. They are obsessing over you. I feel this person is losing sleep because they see you as a perfect person for them. But this person, is, it, it seems that they are quite possessive here. Okay. They are quite possessive and they are very jealous. So this is something that uh, maybe it's worth to, to kind of uh, think about. Let's take a look at your person's actions. Could you please show me this person's actions? Could you please show me this person's actions towards Pisces? What this person will do? Could you please show me uh, Pisces person's actions towards them? We have the magician. Okay. 
we have a seven of wands wanted to show up and we have ace of swords this person will take some sort of initiative here pisces we have a seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck 1977 might be quite significant seven of july as well 77 number you might be seeing synchronicities it can also show by doing that the universe wants to kind of raise your attention that it might be again someone from your past life someone you shared very strong soul connection and they are coming back so they are kind of now in your life with the magician you might be dealing pisces here with a gemini i have strong gemini with this card they are trying to manifest you again this person wants you and that's it with these cards but there is you know something again this person can be very jealous and possessive so this is something that you know that's why maybe spirit is saying go slow get to know this person you know talk to them get a vibe about them but i feel that clarity is coming here Pisces. you will get a bigger picture about them focusing on their actions biases we have magician seven of wands ace of swords this person wants to talk again ace of swords is this energy of bringing clarity so the clarity is coming from this person's side with the seven of wands magician they are this person um i feel they will oh, i feel this person is 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 they want you i don't know how to explain it and how to express it more but with the magician i feel they will try to use everything to kind of gain your um trust okay with the seven of of swords i feel this person will be sending you lots of messages but i also feel that there is something about them that they can be blocked so for instance as much as you might know about this situation about this painful ending i feel that there are certain if you go deeper in into the situation for instance if you would like to talk you know uh go deeper go deeper about that painful ending with regards to this painful ending i feel that at some point this person might be uh might put some sort of um boundaries or they would kind of block themselves of, of totally you know saying or willing to talk about this situation okay because seven of wands is this energy of pushing away something or just kind of blocking this person doesn't want to be cornered with the seven of wands but what i'm saying I, what i'm seeing here pisces is this person will bring clarity they will communicate i feel this person will try to use every single component or you know <laughs> way to kind of uh, again gain your attention by you know manifesting you just 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 kind of a, to be with you this person wants to have relationship with you with a seven of pentacles in this person's actions this person is is is, is they are not going anywhere they are here to stay and they see um they i feel that they are already invested they are already invested in that connection in in you so clarity is coming pisces let's take a look at the outcome could you please show me outcome for pisces connection with this person please We have the two of cups, Pisces. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we have justice. You might be dealing with Libra, Pisces. I don't know where to put it. Maybe I'll put it here for you, Pisces. Oh, okay. All right. We have the two of cups as a, as an outcome for 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 your connection relationship Pisces love meeting up spending time together sharing emotions being close to each other feeling the sense of belonging it seems Pisces that that there is a relationship 
in the cards uh, with this person. It seems, Pisces, that the Two of Cups, there is a chance for you being together, being in a relationship. And I feel that you might be, you, you might, uh, you know, you will be in a relationship with this person. This is a card of love and relationships. Sharing, again, sharing emotions, feelings, love, meeting up, dating, spending time together. But Two of Cups, it is a very strong soul connection. And I was shuffling these cards and that's what sh it popped up. That's what wanted to come out for your overall outcome for this connection. It seems that you will be in a connection or relationship with this person. This person wants to be with you, Pisces. They do. But again, it's very important to, to <coughs> excuse me, um, to emphasize that this person might be very jealous and possessive, okay? But um, they are not going anywhere. I feel that you will gain a clarity about this thing that you might be questioning. And this person will try to, you know, use everything to kind of explain themselves. And at the end, I feel that, yes, you will be spending more time with this person. You will be dating. Uh, and ultimately, I feel you will be in a relationship with them. At least there is a chance, Pisces. Okay? There is a chance for both of you to be in this connection. Justice as an overall energy for this reading, <coughs> excuse me, Pisces, is you might be, again, you might be dealing with Libra, but I feel also that, you know, this past life love, it's coming forward here because justice is also ultimate sign of karma. You know, we can have the judgment card with justice, then we can have a combination with, wor with the world card, but justice as a single card, it's, 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 it's karma. So therefore, I feel that there is, that there is this, um, like a highest, that there is this, uh, this connection, very strong soul connection you have with this person. And at the end we have, you know, two of cups, which shows that very strong soul connection. But with the justice card, I feel that it is uh, someone again, from if, that you might have known from your previous lifetime and um, in your previous lifetime. And justice is showing here that there is a reason for this person um, to be in your life at this very moment. Okay, but overall energy and, um, and overall outcome for your connection, Pisces, it seems that, you know, relationship, it's here. And, um, and, and actual, you know, mutual uh, feeling of love. Thank you very much for being with me, Pisces. Please like, share and subscribe. And I truly hope that this reading was of help. I wish you all the very best. And once again, thank you so very much for being with me. I truly appreciate you. Thank you, Pisces. Take care. Bye.